On this morning of December the 24th, our service of morning prayer begins on page 80. Lord, open our lips. And our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory Glory to the the Father, and and to the the Son, and and to the the Holy Spirit, Spirit, as as it was was in the beginning, is now, now, and and will be forever. forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Our King and Savior now draws near. Come, let us adore him. The Venite, page 82. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his for he made it and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. Our psalms this morning are Psalms 45 and 46, beginning on page 647. Psalms 45 and 46, beginning on page 647. My heart is stirring with a noble song. Let me recite what I have fashioned for the king. My tongue shall be the pen of a skilled writer. You are the fairest of man. Grace flows from your lips because God has blessed you forever. Strap your sword upon your thigh, O mighty warrior, in your pride and in your majesty. Ride out and conquer in the cause of truth and for the sake of justice. Your right hand will show you marvelous things. Your arrows are very sharp, O mighty warrior. The peoples are falling at your feet, and the king's enemies are losing heart. Your throne, O God, endures forever and ever. A scepter of righteousness is the scepter of your kingdom. You love righteousness and hate iniquity. Therefore God, your God, has anointed you with the oil of gladness above your fellows. All your garments are fragrant with myrrh, aloes, and cassia and the music of strings from ivory palaces makes you glad. King's daughters stand among the ladies of the court. On your right hand is the queen, adorned with the gold of Ophir. Hear, O daughter, consider and listen closely. Forget your people and your father's house. The king will have pleasure in your beauty. He is your master, therefore do him honor. The people of Tyre are here with a gift. The rich among the people seek your favor. All glorious is the princess as she enters. Her gown is cloth of gold. In embroidered apparel she is brought to the king. After her the bridesmaids follow in procession. With joy and gladness they are brought and enter into the palace of the king. In place of fathers, O king, you shall have sons. You shall make them princes over all the earth. I will make your name to be remembered from one generation to another. Therefore, nations will praise you forever and ever. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth be moved and though the mountains be toppled into the depths of the sea. Though its waters rage and foam, and though the mountains tremble at its tumult. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. There is a river whose streams make glad the city of God the holy habitation of the Most High. God is in the midst of her. She shall not be overthrown. God shall help her at the break of day. The nations make much ado, and the kingdoms are shaken. God has spoken, and the earth shall melt away. The Lord our host is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. Come now and look upon the works of the Lord. What awesome things he has done on earth. It is he who makes war to cease in all the world, He breaks the bow and shatters the spear and burns the shield with fire. Be still then and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. A a reading from the Gospel according to Luke. 
John's father, Zechariah, was filled with the Holy Spirit and prophesied, saying, Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he has visited and redeemed his people and has raised up a horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David, as he spoke by the mouth of his holy prophets from of old, that we should be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all who hate us, to perform the mercy promised to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant, the oath which he swore to our father Abraham to grant us that we, being delivered from the hand of our enemies, might serve him without fear in holiness and righteousness before him all the days of our life. And you, child, will be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his ways, to give knowledge of salvation to his people and the forgiveness of their sins, through the tender mercy of our God. When the day shall dawn upon us from on high to give light to those who sit in darkness and in the shadow of death, to guide our feet into the way of peace. And the child grew and became strong in spirit, and he was in the wilderness till the day of his manifestation to Israel. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. <clears throat> The first song of Isaiah on page 86. Surely it is God who saves me. I will trust in him and not be afraid. For the Lord is my stronghold and my sure defense, and he will be my savior. Therefore you shall draw water with rejoicing from the springs of salvation. And on that day you shall say, Give thanks to the Lord and call upon his name. Make his deeds known among the peoples. See that they remember that his name is exalted. Sing the praises of the Lord, for he has done great things, and this is known in all the world. Cry aloud, inhabitants of Zion, ring out your joy. For the Great One in the midst of you is the Holy One of Israel. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, Father, and to the Son, and, and to the, the Holy Spirit. Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Prayers, beginning on page 97. Our, the Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive, forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as, as we, we forgive, forgive those who trespass, trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord. And grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world. For only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care. And guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth. Your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God. And sustain us with your Holy Spirit. In joyful expectation of his coming to our aid, we pray to Jesus, saying, Amen. Come, Lord Jesus. Come to your church as Lord and judge. Help us to live in the light of your coming and give us a longing for your kingdom. Maranatha. Amen. Come, Lord Jesus. Come to your world as King of the nations. Before you, rulers, will stand in silence. Maranatha. Amen. Come, Lord Jesus. Come to the suffering as Savior and Comforter. Break into our lives where we struggle with sickness and distress and set us free to serve you forever. Maranatha. Amen. Come, Lord Jesus. Come to us as shepherd and guardian of our souls. Give us, with all the faithful departed, a share in your victory over evil and death. Maranatha. Come. Amen. Come, Lord Jesus. Come from heaven, Lord Jesus, with power and great glory. Lift us up to meet you, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary and all your saints and angels, we may live and reign with you in your new creation. Maranatha. Amen. Come, Lord Jesus. 
Purify our conscience, Almighty God, by your daily visitation, that your Son, Jesus Christ, at his coming, may find in us a mansion prepared for himself, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen.